animals are top athletes. For example, cheetahs can sprint up at 75 miles per hour. And American pronghorns have an estimated marathon time of just 45 minutes. Extreme behaviors like these might imply human performances are actually not so impressive. Although, I will never run a marathon under two hours. But it made me wonder why animals move and look the way they do. So we are all limited in our performance, some more than others, but certain animals have found ways to trick the system and circumvent these mechanical limitations. The 100 gram flop ball, with its tiny T-Rex arms, its large muscular hind legs, and its long bendy tail that you see here, mid-air, is a kangaroo rat. This bipedal hopping rodent uses erratic vertical leaps over 10 times its hip height to evade snakes. Such performance requires extraordinary amount of power that exceed the physical limits of what muscles alone can produce. My research revealed that kangaroo rats trick the system by using their Achilles tendon in two distinct ways simultaneously. Firstly, as a rigid structure to transfer energy from powerful thigh and back muscles and secondly, as a compliance structure to decouple shortening velocities in the calf muscles, allowing these muscles to operate under more optimal conditions for power production. An exciting consequence of this extreme jumping behavior is that it allows for time to rotate in the air. My study showed that kangaroo rats, by rotating the tail around their body, actually actively change the direction they're facing comparable to a gymnast or a diver that move arms around to twist slower or faster. Outcomes of my research provide a foundation for understanding principles governing the mechanics of extreme organismal phenomena and explore the limits of performance. For example, understanding power production and elastic energy storage and recovery in terrestrial locomotion has applications for robotic and prosthetic designs. Studying the mechanics of how kangaroo rats use active control of their tail to reorient in the air elucidates potential evolutionary purposes of this appendage, or the lack thereof. It also sets the stage for future bio-inspired designs of dynamic robotic devices that use appendages to control balance and orientation. Thank you.